the win. Thank you. Griffin, go ahead with your question. Hey, MJ. Uh, given the circumstances, how do you feel the team is responding to you as, as the field general and leader? Uh, I feel like we're responding great. You know, we all support each other. You know, no matter who's on the field, we're all going to have each other's back. I mean, that's supposed that's what you're supposed to do when you're on a team. Like, it doesn't matter who's in there. You're supposed to support your brother just like you want him to support you while you're on the field. So we're all just rallying around each other, and I'm glad that they're supporting me and having my back. It definitely gives me a lot of confidence going into these games. Brian, go ahead. Hey, MJ, we've heard a lot this season about playing complimentary football. How do you how do you feel that turned out today with, like, the swarm points off the turnovers, defense making stops, and y'all, despite the turnovers, still having some resiliency and putting points on the board? I mean, that's the main thing we were really trying to do is make sure we're playing well, uh, good complimentary football. I know uh, I had three turnovers that I got to clean up, so going for next week, I'm going to watch the film tomorrow, definitely clean those up, you know, to try to not get the defense back on the field so quickly and give them a little more rest, so um, – you know, we're just going to keep on working and get better and better each week. Noah, go ahead. Hey, MJ, I've got a, a two-part question. What were the emotions like, you know, going out there, you know, for the first time today? And then, you know, how did you kind of put that start, you know, behind you in those first seven passes with the two interceptions and, you know, strain together six straight completions and a couple touchdowns? That... Uh, I'll say the emotions are definitely high. You know, I haven't played since Boston College of last year, so it's been it's been a little minute. And then, of course, spring game. But I'm talking about playing in a real game with a real environment and fans and everything. So emotions were high. I felt good being out there with my boys. Uh, I don't think I was too nervous out there. I was really just trying to have some fun. Uh, I know, like you said, I had the turnovers early. But I know that uh, Coach Doran always tells us, you know, put it in the past. You know, it's behind you. You can't – those plays aren't going to fix the rest of the game. It was still early in the game. So I just had to know I had to put those in the past and look forward because I couldn't – get down on myself because I know the rest of the team will get down. They all look at me as a leader. They feed off my emotion. So, um, you know, just keeping my head up, moving on to the next play is one play at a time. It's a long football game. Ethan, go ahead. MJ, you and KC had a pretty dynamic connection going there for most of the game. Just what can you say about him and his performance uh, today? Man, that boy's a dog. Like, he, he knows what he's doing out there on the field. He's never nervous. He knows exactly what he's doing. He knows how to get it open. He knows coverages. Uh, me and him work all the time after practice, so our chemistry is definitely very high uh, going into these games. But, like, that dude is special. I love him. He's special. I love throwing to him. I love the way he helps me in situations. And so, good, real good player. Thanks. Jaden, go ahead. Hey, MJ, I asked Casey, but um, from your perspective, how important is the defense in the offense's success? Uh, can you repeat that one more time? My fault. How important do you think the defense is in the offense's success? Like, what do they do for y'all? I mean, a lot of the a lot of the people in the defense, like before we go out into the field, I don't know if y'all can see it, but they'll come over to our huddle and give us motivation and give us hype, you know, and that definitely shows a lot of love knowing that defense got to our back. So just having that, like I said, like that complimentary football feeling, it's not just on the field, but it's off the field as well, you know, leaning on each other, even though we're on different sides of the ball. So, like, they give us a lot of success. And then, of course, probably one of the best defenses in, in the nation, they make big stops so that we can go out there and try to put points on the board for them. Rob, go ahead. Yeah, um, MJ, there's been a lot of like, obviously turmoil. This it's been a, a weird season, but you guys get into the second half. You're four and two. You're one and one in the ACC. What is out there for NC State? What can this team be? Uh, we're just gonna keep getting better and better each week. I mean, that's all I can really say is that one percent better each day. You know, as long as we're locked in, we're focused. We're coming out here with a mindset to try to be the best version of ourselves. And we're going to do all we can for the team. I mean, the sky's the limit for us. So I'm, I'm ready for it. I'm excited for it. We're just going to get back to work tomorrow. Thank you, sir. This will be final question for MJ. Brian, go ahead. Hey, uh, Delbert Mems and Michael Allen combined for 137 yards on the ground. How important is it, was it for y'all and for you on the offense to sort of balance that, balance that uh, attack out with the run game and for them to produce? Yeah, it's definitely important to have two really good, definitely all the running backs that can definitely get the ball in space and create positive yards. I mean, definitely the run game helps the pass game. The pass game helps the run game. So, you know, just me just trusting them, I'm going to give them the ball and let them do what they do. I mean, that's what they're here for. 
they wouldn't be here if they couldn't they couldn't do what they did down on that field. So, you know, those are two special backs that I got a lot of trust and faith in. And also uh Mark, you know, he he went in there and did a lot of great things as well. So we got a whole running back core that is really special and can help this team a lot. Thanks, MJ. Yes, ma'am. Thank y'all.